Lucas Perez with it. Oh, what a beautiful run from Lucas Perez. Oh, he just... Yo, man, I'm actually surprised by this Lucas Perez card. His movement off the ball is actually more fluid than I thought, man. He's a 5'11 player. They usually don't play like that. I'm I'm quite impressed by Lucas Perez, man. Um, He's definitely playing like a team of the season so far player. So far. Sorry, I repeated it so just look at the runs he's making guys I want you to guys notice like wh what type of runs he's making I'm not triggering any of these runs um that a medium medium stat is I, I, I don't know what it is man I didn't even put in get him behind he's still making intelligent runs um I think it's due to that uh, high attack positioning I think that's uh, what automatically triggers his uh good runs but yeah Lucas is interplay I'm very impressed by it and look at that he's just so damn strong. He's gonna pass it in to Eusebio. Eusebio is hopefully gonna score. Cut inside. Boom. Goal. And uh, Lucas Perez gets another assist. I just, yo man. He may not be the main man who scored all your goals, but he's he's like a Giroud type. He can play the Giroud type role. I mean, he's gonna shield off the defenders, you know, and uh, you know he's gonna pass the ball to the main striker. Maybe you have a Ben Yedder paired up with him. Maybe you have a shorter striker paired up with him. You're gonna, you're gonna, you know, Lucas Perez's job is to shield off the defenders. You know, he's gonna make that perfect killer pass to your second striker, and yeah, this it's gonna result in a lot of goals, man. A lot of goals. Just yeah, I just I'm really impressed with Lucas Perez for so far. I was not expecting him to play. Like oh, all right. Can you find Neymar? Neymar, can you cut inside for the finish? Oh, but yeah, like I said, guys, Lucas is really good at interplay. Once he makes that pass, he knows how to position himself, to, you know, to receive a pass for either a goal or, a, um, you know, he just missed that. I don't know how he missed that. But uh, either to shoot for himself or, you know, pass to another teammate. He's just, he's an amazing intellect player. I just like, like I said, guys, I can't em emphasize this enough. His, his movement is really carrying his stats. Get, if you guys get what I mean, he's, it's really making up for the stats he's lacking. Just his movement alone. What a pass. That is killer. Can I actually... Oh, no. I bottled this. But, uh, yeah. Um, if I was actually using my brain there, that would have been a goal, in my opinion. I would have finished that off. But, I, I don't know. I just... Um, I wasn't focusing right there. I was just so mesmerized by that pass. I didn't think Lucas's vision was that high. Maybe I overlooked his passing stats. But, yeah. He passes like a cam, man. He passes like a cam. Like, like I said, guys, you want him to be linked with your smaller striker, and uh, just look at his positioning. Look at that positioning, man. That is what you want from your striker. Yo, the runs he's making, fantastic, bro. Fantastic. I love that about that card. I love that about this card. And uh, you know, he has a second goal that should seal up this game. All right, guys, we have come to the end of the review of Team of the Season so far, Lucas Perez. And um, yeah, I am impressed with this card, man. Just so you know, a few little comments about him. Um, you know, he his turns, like his that, that 5'11 body frame, like I said, is not meta. It's not meta at all. And uh, he's going to turn, his turns pretty damn slow for a top tier striker. He's not going to turn like Ben Yedder. He's not going to turn like a Messi's or Neymar's. Do not expect that from this card. Um, you know that, that's gonna be a major that's that's probably his only con in my opinion that uh that that um, you know slow turning uh, it's due to his uh like I said 511 frame and um, let's take a yeah that's 511 frame and that um, 83 agility but obviously that can be boosted with an engine chemistry style because because that shooting is perfect in my opinion his he's gotten in the right position at the right times you know if you want someone cheating up if you want to play a 442 use this guy to pry, pry for your second striker he's going to be the main striker you can put apply an engine on him that boosts his passing his dribbling and his pace it's up to you man um you know you can improve his shooting as well like you know but his shooting is already nice but uh yeah this this card man he is very good at interplay and uh, you know he's strong as well he's uh, able to shield the ball off of uh, strong defenders and um, yeah he's shooting inside the box is pretty good man it's very good actually but uh, you don't have to, you don't have to worry about the shooting um, you have to worry about that uh, work rates though the work rates he, you know he's medium medium so that's that's quite lazy that's quite lazy but uh, you can apply instructions on him 
you know you can play a get in behind definitely apply get in behind so he's gonna make those uh, intelligent runs but I didn't even put him getting behind and he made intelligent runs you know you, you can test it out for yourself but yeah he has a 93 attack positioning so he's gonna make runs intelligent runs anyway but um yeah man um, he didn't feel just like he didn't feel the quickest at all you know sprint wise he, he you know he, he felt like his sprint speed like that base 89 pace he felt like that it's just that his turning was so slow man so slow if you want to do fake shots or drag backs it's gonna be a lot slower than usual but yo his one two if you play a tiki taka he's perfect for that those one twos those inner plays you know he's perfect for that uh secondary striker role you know if you're in a 4 one 2 one 2 or 4 4 2 perfect i wouldn't play this guy as a lone striker in my opinion i don't think he's good enough it's just Due to, it's just a, due to that agility and that 511 frame but uh, you know he is he's gonna be an excellent card in a 4 2 and 2 or 4 4 2 two striker formation you know he's gonna provide for the, your main striker and just interplay he's just so brilliant at interplay and his positioning is excellent and um, you know he's you know he definitely plays better than 88 rated card in many aspects so if I were to give this guy a rating out of 10, I'd give him a 9.0. So what would have elevated this card to 9.4s, 9.5s, you know? What would have elevated him? Obviously, a, a, a top tier striker has a 5 star weak foot. Obviously, he doesn't have that. 4 star weak foot, it's good enough. But uh, yeah, that does not make him top tier. And uh, it's just that frame, man. If any player above 5'9 as an attacker, is they just turn slow. It's just the animations don't work for them. And, um, but yeah, anyway, this card is strong. He has that advantage over other strikers. And uh, he's very well-rounded in that regard. But uh, anyway, guys, it's been your boy Shiz with another player review. And see you next time.